Hey everybody, good morning. Thanks for clicking on and welcome to what's shaping up to be an absolutely beautiful May 5th, 2018. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, Cinco de Mayo this year means a whole lot more than just cervezas and tacos. Here in the 262 and all over southeastern Wisconsin, May 5th is all about the game fish opener. I'm on the road right now, just about to get to uh, what last year shaped up to be one of my favorite lakes, and that's where we're going to start this year off, try and catch us a big old bass. So I'm not going to waste any time, not going to bother with any footage of launching the boat or, you know, first uh, motor start or anything like that. I just want to get this boat out on the water and get to fishing. So I'll see you guys out on the water. This morning we're joined by my buddy Justin. Everybody say hi to Justin. Justin, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. There's only like four subscribers and two of them are my so brother-in-law. One yeah, one of them's you, two of them are my brother-in-law, Steve. So say hi to yourself and hi to Steve twice. You ready to go? Oh, it's still floating, that's a good sign. All right. All right, first cast of the year. I'm gonna step off of the trolling motor so I can just focus on what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I was kind of waiting for that to happen. I got my bluegill blowing up on my actual like line line. I guess you are casting a three quarters of an ounce bait, though that helps, huh? I'm 30 pound braid. <laughs> I haven't heard anyone else catch a fish either. Have you? Everyone's quiet about it. There's the hunters. Snap that off? Yep. <laughs> well, there goes what was going to very quickly be my favorite lure. How was it going to be your favorite lure? Because I was going to catch huge fish on it. Yeah. Let's okay. see what happened there. That, that's not not strength. That's, I don't know what that is. That's, that's just, it must have been. braid does that sometimes. What, you think the braid just cut through the leader? Did the leader on? Yeah. You tied on a... I had a 15 pound, uh, 15 pound mono leader. No, I think your leader broke. Yeah, well it broke at the leader, that's obvious. No, it didn't break at the leader, it broke... Or on the leader. On the leader. Yeah. That's what I said. You're, you're not held. They're not held fine. Which at least, that's the success there. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna get shoved down there. <clears throat> All right. No, I'm not even looking. Oh, okay. Oh, his bass right here. You're right there, Rochelle. Where is it? It's a tiny one. He's really tiny. He literally looks stupid. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yep, there, Rochelle. Yep, there's a real small one under the dock there. I can see it. Good practice for you. Yeah, it is. Here, you want my rod? 
bother if you just gonna grab it. I'll just grab it. There's another little bass right there. Actually snagged with a hook? No, it was just wedged. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to fish on that cast. Oh, almost did it again. Had to bring that one back. I bet I couldn't do that again if I tried. No, that just hit it. That? Or no? It's not bad. <clears throat> Two. Got it. Take us forward and to the left a little bit, like kind of head towards that white house at probably about 10 o'clock now. Because that's where it'll get a little deeper. And if you don't think they're shallow. Well, that's a good one. Oh, get the net. That is, that is a big bag. Which way are you going to bring it? Holy <laughs> shit. I'm not even joking, it's massive. Get the net. I got it. And bring it to the left. Alright. Holy <laughs> shit. That might be the biggest bass in my life. So far. Can you see it? Where's it at? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Get the net off. Alright, that's clear. Ready? Ready? Okay. Nope, nope, he's diving. Ready? Nope, he's diving. Ready? Nope. Ready? I got him up. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's a good three and a half pounds. That's not the biggest bass in my life, but he looks big. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's a better one. All right. All right that, one, that one will bother the way. <laughs> Yeah. Three, 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 oh, three, three, oh, four, three, oh, two. What's it going to be? I'll supposed to keep going down. <laughs> <coughs> No nope, weeds. <laughs> well, for those of you that have seen my earlier video, this is the kind of stuff I catch. I catch fish ice fishing. I'm talking about where I catch docks and nets and trees. 
but no fish. Yeah. We're not with them anymore. Or? Fishing that rig. On your rod or on mine? On mine. Okay. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do because I'm a jackass. Right, I'm gonna, we have my Cinco rod here with the Cinco ready to go so I can toss it and catch two fish. <laughs> how pissed will you be if I knew that? No, I'd be amazed. Do you know how viral that would go? No, it wouldn't go very viral. But I guarantee if I had a Cinco rod ready that last time, I could have caught one of those other fish. Casting over your head. I don't care. Real things, like I said. But he's still a fish. And it's still spring. <laughs> Just so you know, I appreciate the Ned rig, but it, when I catch a fish. I'm giving the credit to beef jerky and not wearing my hat. There we go. Yep, little guy. It's okay, your skunk is out of the boat. Yes. <laughs> if I can boat flip him in and. Oh, can... oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Good. I caught a fish. Beautiful. Thanks, little guy. Oh, he took off like crazy, too. No. Cast in a row, back to back. All right, you're so, so big. Hey, man, you said it. They're not. There we go. See you guys. Find out. To be continued. Part two. All oh. <laughs> He's not big at least. <clears throat> Alright, are you convinced on the nutter yet? Yeah. This is the first time I've actually talked to you about it. Yeah. <laughs> 
then I almost went in. It's not a bad little pike. No. Nah. Nice. I tell you what though, I can't wait for Monday when everyone else goes back to work. There's a fish. Little guy. Why, what's Monday that no one would go to work? Tuesday when I'm off. Oh. Yeah. I'll fish on Tuesday also. That was a bottom jaw hook. What in the world? There we go. It was like double and triple hooked. There you go, guy. Oh. All kinds of tangled up here. There you go, bud. <laughs> he almost jumped right back into the boat, too. What? He, when I let him go, he almost jumped right back in. <clears throat> so you don't necessarily have anywhere to be, you just wanted to get some sleep. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't know. It's it's like nine forty-five right now. <laughs> okay. Two in a row again. I know, right? A whole pound. <laughs> he broke off right in the boat. Alright, guy. Alright. Uh, might have been because I should have retied. Yeah, but on a heavier line. Check that out. Ned Rig's still up on the floor of the boat. All right, back to back twice with the Ned Rig. I'm starting to be a believer. That one? Yep. <laughs> Holy cow, it's bait. He just torpedoed out of the water. Hey, that brings me to five on the day. I hit hit my limit. Hit a limit. You know what? Let's do this. Because it's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah. And people try and use this as... They think this is a huge lake and they water ski like crazy. Yeah. So, let's just do this. I'm going to be done with you. Oh, those rocks are not comfortable, though. No? Nope. Those are sharp rocks? They're just not comfortable. I forgot my keys at the boat, so I guess this video is officially going to be brought to you by OnStar and Chevrolet. Oh, I didn't want to start it. I wanted to unlock it. There we go. There you go, folks. Thank you, Chevrolet. Thank you, OnStar.
Thank you, Schwinn. There we go. Tell you what, it's uh, not likely to ever get me a sponsorship or anything, but oh shoot, you know what? I can't even start. I can't drive though without it. <laughs> I gotta go back. Good stuff. Oh, thank you, sir. You able to get out of here all right? All right. All right. I'll see you in a few. What's that? There we go. Full we'll scent. All right, so, despite the obvious flaw with what I thought was gonna be the plan, this video can still be brought to you by Chevrolet, OnStar, and Schwinn. I don't know it, but it makes me uh, feel good for being able to say something like that. You know, like I'm important or something. Windows down for Harambe. that savage gear 3d vermin baby look at that 10 inches like two and a half ounces sucker's gonna be money money next trip when's our next trip tuesday baby tuesday weather permitting true weather and child permitting do we have a lake picked out yet no um you mentioned one in waukesha maybe yeah we can try that or one closer to you doesn't matter whatever it's all good all right well, weather permitting, I'll see you Tuesday. All right, thanks for having me. Yeah, man, have Always fun. fun to outfish you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I said, yeah. it's the title of the video, Fishing with a <laughs> soul. <laughs> see ya. And he really is a <laughs> asshole sometimes. We'll do it. Except for if it's windy as it is today, it's not even going to be fair. Oh, it'll still be fair. I gotta have some sort of fighting chance. Alright dude, see ya. Alright guys, that's it for today. We're gonna end this video right where we started and that's on the road, this time on our way home. Uh, we got out of the water around 10 o'clock or so, so only about three and a half hours of fishing, but uh, the no wake ends at 10 o'clock on that lake and uh, the wind was really starting to pick up too, so it's just getting kind of rough and we both had some family things to get to as well so the timing seemed right to get off of the water but it was a good productive and fun couple of hours catching from catching some fish Justin I think had like nine or ten fish on the day including uh, that one that was just under three and a half pounds and a pike as well and I think I might be lucky to have totaled five pounds on all five of my bass combined but like I said a lot of fun so uh, anyways, if you liked what you saw, there's a big red button down below to push to subscribe. There's also a bell to get notifications uh, so you know if and when, well not if and when, just when I get put my next video out. If you didn't like what you saw, drop a comment down below so I know what I can do better for you. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.